Welcome back to this channel, it's Max from the next creation. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and support this channel if you are new to this channel. It's the only way you'll be updated when we upload a new video or upload new information. By the way, don't forget to click the bell icon or the notification bell. It will be the only way that you'll be updated when we get to upload a new video. Returning subscribers, thank you so much. For the new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you much, so much for supporting this channel. You know we are looking at a road to 2,000 subscribers and it's only your support. Yes, we are still looking at more interesting part of what you call the Oman law. Oman as one of the Gulf countries which has given very many opportunities or employment opportunities to people around the globe, especially from Africa, Asia, and all other countries around the world. Around the world. Yes, when you talk about this country, we talk about the currency. One of the strongest, one of uh, the, the highest, the strongest currency in, uh, in the world, which is counted, or even in the Gulf countries. But again, we come to look for greener or we come to work in these countries. We may either come with uh, free visas, uh, free uh, working visas. and um, But remember, we get to work in these countries. We are either recruited by companies or recruited by individuals. And that will be your sponsor. Your sponsor is, uh, is, is the person who is responsible for you. But remember, these countries, we go to go to this country still, we follow what we call, we find laws that are being governed or rules that are governed the employments that we get to do. So we need to follow. Because remember, we say that at one way or the other. Being in a foreign country is a privilege and a responsibility. Yes, the privilege you enjoy in getting in that country. What is your responsibility? To follow the rules and the law, not to fall in trouble. Like any, any job that is being given or like any agreement or contract being signed for employment or being recruited, there is what we call entitlements. We look at entitlements. What are your entitlements at that job that you are doing? Did you know your entitlements in one way or the other? Have you ever taken that time to find out what are your entitlements under your employment contract? Yes. In this video, we are going to see what are entitlements do you get if you are being recruited to work in Oman. What are your entitlements? It may be a woman, it may be a, uh, a man. What are some of the entitlements? So I'm going to get through one of the uh, summarized entitlements that you are supposed to do. Remember I told you, being in a foreign country is a privilege. Knowing the rules, knowing the rest, the duties, knowing the rules and following your, your employer's guidelines, it is the responsibility of you to avoid being or falling in trouble. The Oman Labor Decree 35 of 2003, as amended, covers what you call leave entitlements available to employers, work to employees working in Oman. One of the entitlements is what you call the annual leave. These entitlements, an employer to take annual leave with a full salary for a period of not less than 30 days. Calendar. Remember, upon completion of six months, the employer is supposed to give you what you call annual leave. Or the employer must take at least one or two weeks period of leave in two years. And if the employer leaves employment before it lies in the full leave, annual leave, it is entitled to what we call to seek a basic wage. In some other Gulf countries, you take annual leave, which is counted after two years, which is some, uh, some companies give 42 days. But remember, for the Oman law, or according to the Oman law, you are some, even after six months, you can take annual leave. And remember, the other benefit is that if you do not take any annual leave, Let's say you contributed, uh, completed a contract of two years and you did not take any annual leave. And this time you are resigning or leaving this company. All that annual leave that you not take is calculated under what you call basic salary and they will have to give you money or pay you that money. 
which may not be the same in Qatar or in some other countries like in Qatar. They will not pay you that money for some companies. But in Oman, it has to be converted back to what you call the basic salary and you have to get that money. Two, what you call sick leave. We all know that we are human beings and sometimes the body may get out of hand. We get what you call uh, out of hand. We get especially due to fatigue and other uh, uh, factors that may be there. So you may get sick or even abruptly. It may be something that comes up very sick. You get it. So, sick leave number two, sick leave in Oman. Article 66 of the Oman law provides that subject to provision of social insurance, employee is entitled to sick leave for one or more periods which will not exceed 10 weeks in a year. This should be divided continuously or must be paid. Remember, if you get sick in Oman, this one is going to be divided in what you call four levels. You say the first two weeks, the first uh, following two weeks, the following two weeks, and the four weeks. If your sickness is taking a full month, let's see how much you're supposed to pay. The first two weeks leave, you should have what you call full salary pay. Then, if you are still sick for the following two weeks, you will be paid three over four or three quarters of your salary. Then, if you are still sick for the for another two weeks, your leave or your salary will be paid half of a full salary. Meaning that your leave will be your leave, your sick leave will be paid as half of your full salary. And another one, if you continue to be sick for another four weeks then that means you've almost gotten to what you call a month. Then that means your sick leave will be paid as a quarter of your full salary. Remember, remember, in case of any discrepancy or in case of disagreement between you and your employer, you are supposed to present what you call a medical certificate that shows you were sick. In case your employer doubts you and he does not want to pay you up the money, because you'll go to the medical or you go to the hospital, they will give you what you call a medical certificate. And that medical certificate is one that will be verified by the medical uh, medical commission in your mind. And if your employer refuses to pay you the money, he will definitely be forced to pay you all your money by force. However, Although employers are entitled to seek leave article, are entitled to seek leave, but Article 43 of the Oman law says that if out of the seek leave the employee proved to be unfit or unfit for the job, then the employer has it has a right to terminate the employee. Hope you're right. Yes, we are entitled to what you call seek leave pay, but in Oman it's a different case. You can be paid all the salary according from the first week until the fourth week, until when you get to heal. But in a case, if your illness is too, is too much that it cannot, it cannot enable you to work again, your employer has a right to terminate you as according to the labor law. He has to terminate you out of that position or out of that job. Then we have another one. It's number three is called emergency leave. Emergency leave is granted to an employee where to an employee where the emergency situation beyond the employee's control has risen suddenly. For example, the employee may be entitled to six days of emergency leave. For example, if you lost, uh, for example, we, we, we look we, we look at one we look at one when you lost your mother, you lost your father. God forbid for that. You lost your children. That one you are entitled to emergency leave that should be paid on what you call a full salary. Then number four, we look at what you call special leave. The Oman law provides for certain situation where special leave must be granted to an employee with the full salary under the following conditions. For the special leave that you may be granted that leave, but still you will be, uh, will be entitled to full pay under conditions that you have to fulfill. One, three days in case of marriage, if you are going to do marriage, 
they give you a special leave with a full salary for three days. Three days in case of death of son, daughter, mother or father. In case you lose to, you get to lose of, of any of those people, God forbid, the company will give you three days of sick leave, but also those days should have what you call a full salary pay. Then another one is three days in case of death of your son or daughter or mother or father. Then two days in case of death of sick leave with the full salary. This is when you get to lose your auntie or you get to lose your uncle. It is also most vulnerable or vulnerable in the Oman law. Then another one is 15 days of performance of hijab. For example, if you are going to perform Ija, you are given 15 days, 150 days. But remember, for you to be given 150 days of Ija, you must have served that company for more than one year. You must have covered, uh, served that company for more than one year. Not coming in the company for, for six months probation, they need because they seek leave or what you call the special leave, payment of full salary, you want to go for Ija. It is not approved or it will not be approved in that way then another one is uh, what we call 150 days for working muslims who have lost their husband if you're a working muslim in oman and you've lost your husband then they will give you 150 days uh, to take up the morning and the rest then also if you are an oman in case you are an oman employee and an associate student you will be you will be given 15 days of special leave but with what we call full salary pay let us look at the weekly rest day off what are your entitlements under the weekly rest day off article 71 of the oman law article 71 of the oman law says that the employer is obligated is obliged to grant an employee not less than two days of rest day per week. So meaning that after five continuous hours, you are entitled to two days of rest. However, to some situations, some jobs work up to six days. Meaning that, meaning that you are only going to rest for one day. You are working for six days. And this one, that means if you're working for six days, remember the, the law says for only five days, meaning that that you'll be, if you're working for the six days, then you'll be paid what you call your full salary and this is going to be double your salary. Hope you're getting it right, guys, and hope you're getting the information. Then for the maternity leave, working women or women working no man, they should get what you call a maternity leave of 50 days or 50 days maternity leave and this one should be fully paid salary of maternity leave 50, 50 days but however in a situation a situation whereby uh, whereby a woman or a mother is requesting for more days of maternity leave then he has to prove out or he has to provide what we call a document or what we call uh, he has to have what we call a valid medical document for the valid uh, for the leave to be approved. Then the last one is the public holidays. Article 65 of the Oman law states that an employee is entitled to their full salary for holidays, festivals and other occasions that may be specified by a decision of the minister will be a public holiday that even if you work on the public holiday under Oman law you are supposed to get what we call a full salary pay for those all uh holiday days in case it is being verified or it's being announced by the minister in your country you are entitled to that thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for tuning in this channel hope i've tried to share up something for people who are asking for subscribers in oman we are asking about questions about oman hope i've tried to answer your questions right by the way don't forget support this channel don't forget to subscribe channel. it's the only way we can support we can make this channel grow remember we are looking at the road to 2000 subscribers thank you so much
Don't forget to comment, give us a thumbs up, share, or always be more than happy to get back to you. See you again in the next video. It's Max from the Max Creation TV.